strategies. And this week we're taking a look at the inside block, so inside block situation that we find in the Bassi Kata. But you also get variations to it, you know, in um, in Sochi where we pull round like this. So what we really don't want to be using it for is to have, uh, you know, Oizu Chudan followed by Kiyakazuki, and I've got to get that one to there, right, to make that one. Because as you can see, it, it's, not, it's not clever to try that. So how do we use it? Well, the answer is however we possibly can, but let's have a look at a situation. If the punch is coming in from six feet away, I don't need to do anything. <laughs> it's coming in from over there, just not going to do me any damage even if I'm stood here. So let's look again at where we are. We're going to be in here like this. Now, if I manage to stop a big hook coming in, you might say that that's Uchiyuki number one, and Uchiyuki number two might be this one here. Or it could be that this isn't the first Uchiyuki, this is just me stopping a bunch. That might not be in the kata at all. So where's Uchiyuki number one then? Well, how about this? That's Uchiyuki number one. And here comes Uchiyuki number two. And at that point, we really don't want to go any further. So what you're seeing here is that this is common sense. Don't get hit, stop them from hitting you. And then we're using the skill set of the kata is to turn this into here. Now this time I've got my arm on the other side of the head. Doesn't matter, that's number one. And this time here comes number two. Right, so this one goes through here and we're pulling out this way. In all cases, the hikite hand, the pulling hand, is doing something. So the punch, we're stopping. Oh, sorry, got a little shot in there as well. Okay, and then as this is coming through here, the hikite hand is prepping the target. This is striking the target or locking the target if you want to calm the action down a little bit. And then we're doing the opposite with this hand prepping the target and this one pulling through, or this one pressing the shoulder down to stop him from rising. So these things we're using on the head. They're delivered at this height because that's where we make the head come down to. So you can use just about any move in any kata on the head, just pull it down to that place and look at the middle of the movement instead of looking at the end of it. What's the middle of the movement? For a lot of martial arts movements, the middle of the movement is here. Whether it's going to go this way or this way, whatever it's doing, it tends to be happening in this space. So that's where we're going to put the opponent, and that's where we're going to do our work. 